Hey there, how are you? Coach Brian Klopaka here, CriticalBench.com, certified functional movement specialist, also certified strength and conditioning coach. And today I'm sharing the forward head exercises to help correct your posture. So maybe you're unfamiliar with what forward head posture is. In short, it's just your head is in a forward position and that's your posture. A lot of people refer to this as upper crossed syndrome or text neck syndrome. This is caused from a multiple different things that could be affecting uh, you without even knowing. Texting, for example, when you're texting down, looking down, your chin is protruding forward, your shoulders are rounded. If you're at a desk job all day and you're not ergonomically set up at your workstation, you're going to be in a slouched, hunched over position with that chin forward. Maybe you drive a lot or maybe you just sit on the couch a lot and watch YouTube. Whatever it is, you can correct and you can prevent forward head posture from happening. So the reason why we're talking about forward head posture is that forward head posture is not a good thing. You, you don't want this. You want to have your chin pulled back in, your head right on top of your spine, and that's going to prevent a lot of issues from happening down the road. Or maybe you're even experiencing these issues right now. Things like headaches, things like restlessness, things like numbness in limbs, or even tingly feeling or loss of sensation. These, are, these can all be attributed to forward head posture. Now we're talking about sports. Forward head posture is a dangerous thing to do if you're dealing with athletes. You want to make sure that you're in proper alignment and that everything is functioning and firing properly as it should. So I'm sharing with you the, the best tips and the best exercises you can do at home or at the office or at the gym to prevent and also fix forward head posture. So as you can see in my hand, I have two powerful tools that are going to be exactly what you need to do these exercises. All of these exercises can be done pre-workout, they can be done intra-workout, or they can be done post-workout. In other words, you can do these whenever, wherever, and for however much, many times you want. So let's say you're not going to the gym today, but you really suffer from forward head posture and are doing everything you can to correct that. Do these in the morning, do these after lunch, and do these before you go to bed. You can't do these exercises too much. Now when you're doing these exercises, go slow, go controlled. In other words, take your time with these. These are corrective exercises and they're meant to be done in a slow and controlled fashion. I would recommend starting off with at least two rounds, two sets of these exercises, maybe five to ten reps, just depending on your level of range of motion and your comfort of your, uh, of your shoulders. Now, if you have pre-existing shoulder pain or neck pain, I would recommend you go and see a, a trained professional like a chiropractor, athletic trainer, or physical therapist, someone who specializes in upper cervical care. Because there might be an underlying issue where you have a herniated disc that needs to be addressed in a, in a different way. So if you have a pre-existing condition that you know of, go see a professional, and then most likely they're gonna prescribe certain exercises like this for you to do. So without a doubt, this is gonna be the best exercise that you can do, hands down. This is the number one exercise for you. This is an exercise that I use with all my clients, all my athletes, whether they're uh, professional athletes or whether they're beginners. Everybody needs to do this particular exercise. This is a scapular retraction using nothing but a light resistance band, ankle band, TheraBand, whatever it is. You can buy these at most uh, most sporting goods stores, they're all over the internet. They're very cheap, but they're very effective. And look, you can crumble it up and put it in your pocket. So this one, feed it through, feed the other hand through, twist. And I've created an X. Now you're going to place your hands on your upper thighs. You're going to start with a rounded position, chin tucked in. And now what I'm going to do is pull back, squeezing from the shoulders, keeping my chin tucked in, and then rolling forward. Now I'm going to show you from the side. Now you're probably saying, why is your back so hyper, hyper extended? The reason why is because I'm exaggerating my shoulder retraction and that's going to force my shoulders and my spine to be in an exaggerated position. There's nothing wrong with that. The only thing that could be wrong with that is if that chin is shot forward then your spine is all out of alignment. So when you're doing that exercise, keep that chin tucked in, squeeze from the shoulders. Don't think about the arms, think the shoulders. So that's my number one exercise to cure forward head uh, posture and also fix that upper cross syndrome. Two other exercises that I love to use are chin tucks and forward head nods. 
So these exercises can be done with resistance or without resistance. The chin tuck is simple. Standing in a neutral position, tuck your chin in and return back to neutral. Tuck in, tuck it in and back out. Next is a head nod. Chin is still staying tucked in. A couple of other exercises you can use is with this resistance band. We'll go back to that head nod and chin tuck. You can actually apply some resistance to help build the strength in that, that back part of your neck. So I'm gonna do the chin tuck, applying some resistance from behind making sure that band doesn't slip and I'm pulling forward and that's gonna, prov uh, it's gonna allow me to use the band as resistance. So chin tuck, I'm pulling forward with my hands, pulling back with my chin. All right, we'll do the head nod. The last two exercises I'm gonna show you are pretty popular when you're going into a rehab setting or even just a dynamic warm up for the shoulders. One is called shoulder dislocates. Sounds more painful than it should be, but what we're trying to do is dislocate the shoulders from the socket. Go as wide as you need to, arms locked, pulling that band behind the head. This can be done with a towel, a dowel, a broomstick, a belt. The whole idea is to keep tension on the band and keep your arms straight as you can. The harder, the closer your hands get, the harder it gets. Not easy, so start as wide as you can and then work your way in. So the last exercise I'm showing you is, is an old school physical therapy rotator cuff exercise, but you wanna emphasize tucking that chin in. Arms straight, Chin tucked in, shoulders packed back. Pull apart, relax. Pull apart, relax. Get from the side. So I just shared a lot of information on how to use resistance bands to properly fix and prevent forward head posture from happening. Now, you might, you might not even know if you have forward head posture or not, but we've developed a test that will tell you if you have it or not. So what you need to do to get access to this test, to answer a few questions that we made for you, is to click this box right here. Give us your email, we'll send you a, a link for this test right away. Then you can answer the, the questions, and then it'll let you know if you suffer from forward head posture or not. So if you're on a mobile device, you can't click this box here, but what you can do, Let's click the little arrow under this video here. That's gonna open up our video description area. You'll see a top link there, criticalbench.com slash FHP. Click that link, again, give us your email, we'll send you a link for this test right away. Now before you go, subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos because we do talk more about FHP, upper cross syndrome, and we also talk about a whole bunch of other stuff I know you're gonna find helpful. Like this video, share this uh, video with somebody you know who might suffer from FHP. Also, leave us a comment or a question or even a suggestion. We'd love to hear and interact with you all as we know that uh, you might have uh, something that you're confused on. Whatever it is, we'd love to hear and interact with you. Appreciate you watching. Have a good day and keep that chin tucked in. See you soon.